board gaming hobby is more popular than ever and you might find yourself looking for one to put under the tree this year. If you don't have access to a local board game store, you might be surprised to find that Target is a great place for high quality board games. I'm gonna recommend a few games based on who you might be buying for and all of these are available at your local Target. Let's go. First up, best party game. Code names. In between the players is a grid of words, some belonging to your team, some to the other team, some neutral, and one assassin. One half of the team is giving clues and the other half is trying to decipher those clues. Clues must follow a very particular pattern, a word followed by a number. So for example, if I say travel three, I might be trying to get my teammate to say New York, food, and plain. Be careful with your clues though. If your teammate accidentally guesses an opponent's word, it actually counts towards their score. And if you guess the assassin, your team loses on the spot. As you can see from my brief description here, the game's incredibly simple and can be taught in just a few minutes. When you give a clue that is really obscure and your team just absolutely nails it, oh, it's so satisfying. And when you give a clue that you think is just super obvious and they just don't get it and watching them struggle to try and figure out what you could have possibly meant, is so frustrating, but then absolutely hilarious at the end of the day. And I actually don't own a copy of Code Names because I bought it for my family for Christmas a few years ago. It's great for a wide range of ages, gamers, non-gamers, and it works really well with large groups, which is why I'm recommending it as best party game you can find at Target. Up next is a game I actually do own. My pick for best game for family night is Ticket to Ride. If you're considering buying Monopoly this year, skip that and get this instead. It serves a very similar audience, but it frankly is just so much more fun. In between the players is a large map of the United States crisscrossed with various train routes you can try and pursue. At the start of the game, you're dealt a number of cards with secret train routes that you're trying to complete. A big reason why the vibe of this game is light and friendly is that you're never taking direct actions against another player. Rather, you're competing with them for the cards you might want and the very limited number of routes available on the board. It's also a game that, unlike Monopoly, keeps everyone engaged up until the very end. You genuinely don't know who's going to win until those secret routes are revealed and the final scores tallied up. It plays in roughly an hour and leaves everyone feeling like they had a great time. And frankly, whether you win or lose, just placing these cute little colored trains on the board is really fun. Let's move on to my pick for the best two-player game at Target, Jaipur. In Jaipur, you're competing against the other players to amass the most riches. You'll be making trades at the market, collecting various goods and selling them for a profit. Rarer goods and larger sales equal more money. Jaipur is easy to learn, games play really quick in under 20 minutes, and there's actually a surprising amount of strategy here. You're trying to figure out what goods to pursue, managing your hand and timing when to sell. This is a great addition to any gaming couple's collection. Okay, moving on to best hardcore game. Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Think of it like Dungeons and Dragons meets modern board games. There are 25 different scenarios, four playable characters that you'll level up, unlock new gear for. You'll encounter tons of different enemy types, skeletons, demons, the occasional boss battle. But what makes this game genuinely unique is that you control your character through a hand of cards rather than rolling dice. So it removes a lot of randomness and requires skillful and strategic play. Playing through a scenario, plus all the campaign extras you might do afterwards, sessions take about two hours or more, depending on how many people you're playing with. That could lead to about 100 hours worth of total gameplay in this box. If there's a hardcore board game fan in your life that doesn't yet have this in their collection, they'll love it. And this game can be played either solo or cooperatively with up to three other players. Okay, my pick for best stocking stuffer game at Target is The Mind. The Mind can be played with two to four players and takes about 20 minutes in total for a session. The way it works is each player is gonna be dealt a hand of cards with different numbers on them. Your goal is to make a stack in the middle of the table from lowest to highest. Sounds pretty simple, but the catch is that you can't actually verbally communicate or hand signals or anything like that with other players. There's a trick to this game that I'm not gonna mention, but it's really unlike anything you've ever played before. It's pretty interesting. It even says in the rule book, attention, very important. Once the players understand the rules, we recommend they simply start playing and avoid reading the box at the end of the playing instructions so they can discover the game's secret themselves. I'll leave it at that. But I will say the mind is a lot of fun, replayable, 
and fits in a stocking. So that's it. Those are my picks for best games available at Target right now. If you appreciated the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thank you for watching and hope you have a happy holiday.